Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, video. We have two examples of the chapter 11, combined conduction and convection heat transfer, the overall heat transfer coefficient. And for our first question, inner surface temperature of insulation blanket comprised of two semi-cylindrical shells of different materials. Ambient air conditions find equivalent thermal circuit and the total heat loss at material outer surface temperatures. And we have here the schematic. For our uh, solution, we have an assumption, first, steady state conditions, another, one-dimensional radical conduction, third, infinite contact resistance between materials, and lastly, for constant properties. And for analysis thermal circuit is uh, the convection thermal efficiency of A is equal to the conve uh, convection thermal efficiency of B is equal to 1 over pi multiplied to R sub 2 H. And for the conduction thermal efficiency A, we have Ln multiplied to R sub 2 over R sub 1 all over pi multiplied to the Kb, K sub B. And for our conduction thermal efficiency B, we have Ln multiplied to R sub 2 over R sub 1 all over pi multiplied to K sub A. And we have here the illustration. And now for uh, evaluating the thermal resistance and the heat rate, we have the convection thermal efficiency is equal to pi times 0 0.1 times 25 watts per square meter Kelvin, all raised to negative 1. We have 0 0.1273 meter Kelvin per watt. And for our conduction thermal efficiency A, we have LN multiplied to 0 0.1 over 0 0.5 0 0.5 meter all over a pi times 2 watts per meter Kelvin or we have 0 0.1103 meter uh, Kelvin per watt and for our conduction thermal efficiency B we have 8 and for conduction thermal efficiency A we have 0 0.8825 meter Kelvin per watt and for our heat flux we have 500 minus 300 Kelvin over 0 0.1103 plus 0 0.1273 meter uh, Kelvin per watt plus the 500 minus 300 over 0 0.8825 plus 0 0.1273 meter Kelvin per watt or we have 1040 watt per meter. Hence the temperature, the temperature surface uh, 2A we have 500, 500 Kelvin minus 842 watts per meter multiplied to 0 0.1103 meter Kelvin per watt we have 407 Kelvin and for our temperature surface B we have 325 Kelvin. The total heat loss can also be computed from heat flux is equals to uh, temperature surface 1 minus temperature inf infinity all over uh, the thermal efficiency equivalent where uh, equivalent thermal efficiency is uh, conduction A plus convection A always negative 1 plus the conduction B plus conduction B always to negative 1 and both I mean all raised to negative 1 we have 0 0.1923 meter kelvin per watt hence our heat flux is 500 minus 300 kelvin all over 0 0.1923 meter kelvin per watt or we have 1040 watt per meter and now for our question number two diameter resistivity thermal conductivity emissivity voltage and maximum temperature of heater wire, convection air exit temperature, temperature of surroundings. Find the maximum operating current, heater length and power rating. We have the, here the schematic. And for our assumptions, we have first steady state, second uniform wire temperature, third constant properties, and fourth graduation exchange with large surroundings. Analysis, assuming a uniform wire temperature uh, maximum temperature is equals to T multiplied to R is equals to 0 or T sub O or T sub S. We have, we have that in our schematic as you can see above. 
And for our total heat transfer coefficient, we have uh, H sub T is equals to H plus H sub R used in, uh, how do you call that, LIU of the convection H with this uh, equation. And for our H sub R, we have 46.3 watts per square meter Kelvin. And now for our heat transfer coefficient, we will just add 250 plus 46.3 watts per square meter Kelvin. We have a total 296.3 watts per square meter Kelvin. And for our maximum heat flux, we have a uh, 2 multiplied to 296.3 watts per square meter Kelvin all over 0 0.0005 meter Mo multiply to 1150 degrees Celsius we have 1.36 times 10 raised to the 9th power watts per cubic meter and for our uh, maximum operating current we have an answer 29.0 and for our uh, Heater length, we have 2.98 meter and the power rating is, we will just multiply the uh, maximum operating current and the heater length, we have 3,190 watts and for, and to get kilowatts, we will just divide 3,190 over 1,000 and we have 3.19 kilowatts.